So, let's get started with this. So, in order to have this panel, we've got the case here. Let's go ahead and put the guts in this panel right now. So, I just have those right here. I'm just going to take them, and we've got these mounting lugs, these studs that are sticking out the panel. And we simply have some bolts here, or some, some nuts, I should say. I'm going to spin those on. And once you so get one a closer look at the panel now, so it's time to point out a few things. This is a three phase panel, so we have A phase, B phase in the middle, and C phase. Now that's as you're looking at it, working from left to right. Now we have the ground bar here, we've talked about that. Now we have our neutral bar here and here, and you can see through here these bolts, these sides are connected. So you can bring them here to trip this breaker. The heat will eventually build up, but after the longer distance, because some of the excess voltage goes the longer path. So it takes the, the uh, heat in the circuit breaker longer to... However, you need to be able to get A, B, and C phase. And you can see right here, let's go down here. Okay, you can see right here, this is connected to A phase, right here. And both sides Breakers on either side can connect to A. I'm going to show you how that works. But basically, a shunt trip is a remote tripping device, and it allows the. Uh, uh, in other words, you can turn this off from a remote location. You could shut down this whole panel. These are used for like safety devices. Think of an assembly line situation where somebody can. So we have our breaker right here, and you can see it's got three screws on it, and we're going to screw that in to the three screws here that screw it into the buses. Now there's a little clip here on the breaker and that's going to hold it into the side here. So the first thing we do, we just take it and we're going to push that clip in on the side. You just have to press a little bit. And it's easier to do when you're not standing to the side. There we go. Okay, now our screws line up with the holes on the buses and I just want to make sure the screws get started. And you can see that once you get going and have some knowledge, you can make up a panel fairly rapidly and do a pretty nice job. Now I've been taking a little bit of time doing this because I want to explain things and teach things. And also I have to kind of stand off to the side.